let me just give you a brief rundown of how today's going. Cody brought these shoulder blades, beef shoulder blades, cut to shoulder blade, cut to shoulder blade, cutting shoulder blade, <clears throat> like about three days ago. Well, he got them from the butcher. When he got here, he didn't put ice on them. It was like 75 degrees out. The plan, no, 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 no. The no, plan, no. the plan, what we talked about, we were gonna get the first batch of tuna in, and then we're gonna shoot the shoulder blade video. Well. I have not finished my story yet. Yeah, so we forever. are canning tuna. Your brother. Big shocker there. But anyways, long story short, canning tuna went longer than apparently Cody anticipated, which I had almost 2,000 pounds of ice in the pickup. So we could have put it on the shoulder blades. Shoulder blades are rotten. Bottom line, they don't smell that great. So I still think it's gonna be a still a pretty true test as far as uh, durability of the blade. But um, yeah, the smell around here, it's like an old carcass, so. Thank Cody for that. And B-roll of... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we got going on. If you look down on the tailgate right here, you see the um, six broadheads that we have available today. Strickland, Bone, oh, seven with the Cuckoo, and Striker, Shuttle T's, Tooth of the Arrow, Mm, I might have a Muzzy G5 too. Monte. Or and a Muzzy Trocar. So place your bets now. Or we're just going to start whacking away at a shoulder. I'm going to say single bevel, bone broadhead, or helix. They're going to be two. the best. Da ding ding dong. Ding da da ding ding dong. You might cut Wes out of that. I was going to cut Wes out anyway. First up to bat. Uh, first up to bat, broadhead test. Shuttle T. Shuttle T. 125. Downrange. Did not see that coming? Did we see that coming? Uh, I saw veins disappear. I saw veins uh, break. I, didn't say, I, I saw it. I thought I saw the whole arrow come over here to the little rut. Oh, no. Nice fletch job, good. Well, actually, it was a good fletch job because they all stayed on pretty much. Yeah. So. Shuttle T went through it. What's harder though, as far as the shoulder blade, what part? I was trying to stay right on the edge of that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Check it out, look. Looks dull as dull gets. Dull? Dull. But it went through it. Well, so we got a bunch of questions from the last broadhead video, or the broadhead testing and air durability of what arrow it is. Um, we've been shooting these prototype day six, and um, they are bulletproof. So, yeah, I'll put a link below. You guys can check them out. Day six archery. Good stuff. Our buddy Brian's the one that uh, started the company, and he's been shooting these things for several years, and he's going to bring them to market. And super stoked to shoot, shoot them this year, and they're tough. Next up, Bat, what do we got? Uh, we have the G5 Striker next up. One Vayner. Coming through We're just going to use the same arrow just because the fletchings are probably going to get beat up. So give us a brief rundown of what happened there. So through the shoulder blade, thickest part, and that's what happened. Broadhead broke Broadhead off. broken off in the insert. Did it make it to the elk? I don't see a broadhead sticking in there anywhere. Consensus? Um, so, shovel T shot high in the shoulder through the cartilage, fine. Next done was G5 Striker, broke the heck out of that one, broke it off at the shaft. And next up, Muzzy Trocar. Trocar. It's weird how it has that hollow pumpkin kind of sound, you know what I mean? A little bit? Uh, a couple veins off. We have <laughs> bone matter. We do have stinky bone matter on Trevor's elk. Broadhead looks. <laughs> People are gagging. <laughs> pretty solid, actually. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Next up to bat. Shell T striker muzzy done with this. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Woo! How's that? Mm. Take a double lung full of that, Cody. <laughs> 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 he put his head right in it. Oh, 
I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of too easy to shoot through this shoulder blade, like. Yeah, I don't know. And it's about, I mean, I would say it's really close to the same size of an elk. Mm-hmm. Thank goodness we got two guys so handy as yourself to be putting this stuff in. How I roll. Okay, take two. Tooth of the arrow. Tooth. Tooth. That was more of a, like a glass shattering kind of sound. Bone breaking. The right edge shot left. Left? Yeah. Oh, barely hit it. Look at the deflection. Oh, um, dude, mangle damage. On the broadhead? Yeah. And the arrow deflected down that much. Holy cow. Yeah. It it didn't even penetrate no, any of the that. foam. It's literally just kind of hanging here. Got a couple fletchings. So Ooh, much for a carnage. solid one piece deal. Tooth of the arrow. The blades are too thin. Like it's not sharp either. Downwind of that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so that uh good tooth of the arrow, that's what it turned out to be, guys. Here's a new one. It just broke that blade. And then dulled the other ones and bent them. Not awesome. And we're hot. Uh, we added one to the test here. At, instead of the Montex, we don't have any more. Garrett took them home. We shoot the old solid. Whoa. So. Calling the audible. Audible. Carnage? No. Wait a second. Is the hole here? The hole's there, yeah. So if the hole's here, why is the arrow over here? It was deflected like, like that. Wow, there's a lot of deflection. Yeah. And these shots. Solid, you say? Solid, Solid broadhead. Solid. Good. All right, so moving on. All right, we're switching to the single bevel. We're going to start with the Kudu 125. Why did I see stuff fall out of the tree? <laughs> Something's going to be cool. Whoa. And it went. So we hit here, right? Yeah. And we had deflection here. Still got to do another test with the kudu, but I think that head's gone, isn't it? Yeah, I got one more. Do you? All right. Uh, we got veins on this arrow, but we're gonna move closer just cuz uh, get some erratic Bro, uh, kudu again last tests I was zooming a little bit on that one, but I think I still got it Look good little deflection, but it's just crazy to me. Yeah, how it's Head looks decent. Pulled it over that edge. Little chip, so it's, is it dull? Yeah, definitely dull on the back end. And that edge is rolled over a little bit. But it went through the shoulder blade. That elk is taking some uh, brutal, nasty. Thanks, Trev. Nasty punishment. <laughs> Ish. Yikes. Tough arrows. All right. What do we got now? What's up? Uh, Strickland. Stricktown. Another two blade single bevel. Single bevel. Let it rip. Oh, look at the backside damage of that. It's pretty good for rotten meat damage. It's as far as carnage on the backside. Yeah, sure. Strickland. So far. And penetration is good. What's the matter? 
Is your back busted? Did she could you? Yeah. She stricked him. Strick on you. I'd get in there, but it's just dangerous, dude. It was like that much penetration. Head? That doesn't look bad. Sharp? No. no. It's pretty sharp still. I mean, it's decent. Decent. No damage to it though. Zero. And then there was the bone. I'm just amazed the difference with hide meat, you know, and shoulder blade. Well, yeah, I'm amazed at the deflection, honestly. Like you're shooting a flat surface and it's and it deflects that much. That kind of surprises me. I wonder if the tonto point on that will help it. It's supposed to split. So the whole thing with single bevel is like it's supposed to go through that bone and then split. Right. And like Let's try it. Bone zone. Bone broadhead. Right through the thickest part? Yeah. West. Yeah. I don't want you right. So we're going to angle it now. This is an angle shot. We're going to go right for the blade itself. Not gonna lie, I thought. I think that totally deflected super hardcore to the right. Where did it hit? I thought right, you hit like right, right, right here. Right, right here, I think. Is that where you hit? Yeah. Coming through right there. And so if you look at your angle, you're about like this angle right there. And that's how it ended up. Throat punch. Throat punch. Broadhead was brand new in the package sharpness good decent on the back ends better than the front bone brown heads that one had deflection too it deflects to the right so what's the plan here 240 all right so we are we shot that at an angle did all right but i'm trying to like literally hit on this was one of the toughest heads that we shot in the last video that you saw with the cinder block so I'm trying to see if we can have any damage with the hit. So you're trying to hit the blade itself now, right? Why am I stepping back? I see a line on it. I thought you did good. So we hit right there. It looks like it would did good though. I mean as yeah. far as what it was supposed to do. I'm actually quite amazed at deflection in all heads. Little, uh, little lo tiny dent. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. For the second shot, a little dent on the second one. Yeah. yeah. That's the second time it's ran through. I think we should try it again. Blow it. Try to just whack that blade. I don't know. That's got to be freaking. You think? You can see kind of through it. No. No. That's super thick down there. Yeah. Try there. Shot number three with the bone. Going for the thickest part of the shoulder blade. Does it look good? I don't know. Deflected. Consensus. That was the thickest part. Oh. What do you got? Come back here. It did, it split that. Wow. Holy cow. That's impressive, I would say. That's what they talk about with that single bevel and that twist, twist. and everything is it just fractures the bone. Holy cow. Wow. That's after the and third the head? shot. Third shot started to get some blade reflection on that. The back's still sharp though. Hmm. Hey Rick. So, consensus? Pretty awesome. I don't know, I think the biggest thing for me, like I've been a single bevel fan and this continues the fact of single bevel. I mean, I'd be curious to shoot other broadheads in that thick part, but watching what happens, it just fractures a bone. I think there's lots of good heads out there. The biggest key, everyone asks like, what head do you guys shoot? We all shoot different heads. We find one that we like, it's accurate, we trust, put faith, confidence in it. So. That's my takeaway from it. They they all pretty much held up in the shoulder blade test. I think it went well. I mean, really, every single shot went through it. Yeah, we didn't have any arrow that stopped, which these were beef shoulder blades. I think pretty comparable to the elk, maybe a little bigger than what an elk shoulder blade is. Yeah, and I don't know if they're thinner just because they're 
you know. They don't have the bone density. They don't have the density, I, I don't know. I know I'm ready for elk season. All right guys, so that concludes the whole broadhead arrow series. Um, like I said, shot the same arrow through that. Uh, a bunch of people were asking what we were shooting. It's a day six archery. Our buddy Brian started the company. It's an awesome arrow, super tough. Check him out, put the link in the description below. Go out there, have fun, be safe this fall. Man, it'd be a huge favor if you guys hit that subscribe button over there and share this video with your friends. Appreciate your time and enjoying the channel. We're uh, having fun. We're <laughs> 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 <laughs>